Hey everyone, here's a question and this question was asked uh, in the comments and the question is find the smallest number by which 240 must be multiplied to get perfect square. So 240 is not perfect square, we have to make it perfect square by multiplying with the smallest number. Now whenever they ask you what is the smallest number or the least number to be multiplied or sometimes divide, then you have to use a prime factorization method. Okay. We're going to do a prime factorization method for uh, getting this answer. So we're going to prime factorize 240 first. So 240 is an even number. So I'm going to start with 2. 2 is a prime number. Now here you have to take only prime numbers because the method itself is a prime factorization method. So select only prime numbers when you're factorizing it. So 2 1s are 2. 2 2s two are 4. We have 0 for that. Again we have we got 120. So take 2. 2 6s are 12. Drop the uh, so we have 0, so put the 0 here. Again we can take 2, so 2 3s are 6, take the 0 here. The next uh, 2 1s are 2 and 1 will be the remainder, so I'm going to put along with the 0 which makes the number 10, so 2 5s are 10. We got 15, 15 doesn't go in 2 tables, so I'm going to take the next prime number which is 3, 3 5s are 15, we got 5, 5 is a prime number, so 5 1s are 5. So here we're going to just rewrite this again. So 240 is equal to, write down all the factors you got here. So it is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. Now to find the perfect square, like normally what happens when you find out the square root of the number by prime factorization method, we'll start pairing up the number. Now because we're finding out the square root here, square root, so we have to pair them. Pair means you have to make a set of two numbers here. So here, if you pair up, this is forming a one pair. We have got a pair of two. This is forming a one more pair of two. But here you see there's a no pair for three and five. These factors are single. We want one more three and we want one more five to pair up. So here one additional three and one additional five we required so that the numbers will pair up and the number will be perfect square. So if you see a number like a single factors present which means that number is not a perfect square. Now the question here is find the smallest number by which 240 must be multiplied. So if we multiply with this 3 and 5, additional 3 and 5, which is nothing but 15, 3 5 is a 15, right? Then this number will pair up and then we can find out the square root, right? So therefore, the least number to be multiplied or the smallest number to be multiplied here is 15. You have to multiply this number 3 and 5, 3, 3 5 is 15. So let me conclude it. So least number or the smallest number. So smallest number to be multiplied is 15. Okay, then uh, let me multiply and show you. So this will be, when you're multiplying it, it will be like you should multiply on the both the sides. So it will be 240 multiplied by, I'm multiplying 3 and 5 here addition. And here it will be 2 into 2, this is already paired and this is 2 into 2 which is already paired and we want additional 3 and we want additional 5 here, right? So I'm going to multiply here with 3 and here with 5. So you can see we got a pair for 3, we got pair for 5. Now which means that this number that is 240 multiplied by 3 into 5 which, be, which will be 3600. So 3600 is equal to 2 into 2, this is forming a one pair, 2 into 2, this is another pair and 3 into 3, we got a pair for 3 and we got pair for 5. So you can see the perfect square numbers are always in pair, that is factors will always be in pair. If you don't see any pairing up, which means that number is not perfect square. And 3600 is a perfect square, square root of 3600 is equal to, what you do, from each pair you take one number, so from this pair I'll take 1, 2, from this pair I'll take 1, another 2, from here you take 1, 3 and from there you take 1, 5. Multiply it, 5, 5, uh, sorry, 2, 2 is a 4, 4, 3 is a 12, 12, 5 is a 60. So square root of 3600 is 60. Now this part is the additional part I showed you. This is not required. It is not asked in the question. They just asked us what is the smallest number to be multiplied. So the smallest number is nothing but the number which you see which are not 
paired just multiply them and that will be the smallest number if there is only one number which is not paired then that number will be the smallest number in case in the question sometimes they ask also find the square root of the number then you have to multiply you have to multiply that number so is in this case i have multiplied with 3 and 5 which is 15 so if multiply 15 with the number 240 also you should multiply then only you'll get the perfect square number so I hope this question is clear how to find out the smallest number to be multiplied and in case you have further questions or doubt in this you can drop a comment I'll try to make a video on it. Thank you so much for watching.